Ever since I was a boy in Rasi and became aware of differences between the history I read in books and the oral accounts I heard around me, I have been very skeptical of what might be called received history. The million people, for instance, who died in Ireland in the 19th century, the million more who had to emigrate, the thousands of families forced from their homes in the highlands and islands. Why was all that? Famine, overpopulation, improvement, the industrial revolution, expansion overseas. You see, not many of these people understood such words. They knew only Gaelic. But we know now another set of words, clearance, empire, profit, exploitation. And today we live with a bitter legacy of that kind of history. History, 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 history. Our Gallic language is threatened with extinction. Our way of life besieged by the forces of international big business. Our country is beggared by bad communications. Our culture is vitiated by the sentimentality of those who have gone away. We have, I think, a deep sense of generation and community, but this has in so many ways been broken. We have a history of resistance, but now mainly in the songs we sing. Our children are bred for emigration, 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 emigration. Emigration, 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 Thank you.
Turn me on the sky. It is 66 here. You join life for the best way you can. I'm very glad to see people come to see you. That's who I am. I'm, uh, as far as the world goes, I'm only a, a human being like anybody else. Like I like singing songs, I like composing songs, and that's all of us. But anything apart from that, I'm no model.
Oh, <laughs> 